Thank you for tuning in to our online permitting video tutorials. This tutorial is going to cover logging into the Online Permit Center and applying for your building permit. Before we go ahead and begin our application, you want to ensure that you have your completed online permit form in a PDF saved onto your computer. Here's an example of the single family residence or duplex online permit form. In addition, in Section 1 are your required submittal items. You want to make sure that you have your required submittal items also saved in PDF format ready to upload with your online permit. So now let's go ahead and get started on our online application. You will need an online permit center account in order to begin your application. So go ahead and set one of those up if you don't yet have one. We have a video tutorial if you need guidance on that as well. So now you'll see your name up here to know that you are logged in. So to begin the application process, we're going to go over here on the left side under Applications and hit the Go button. Next, we're going to stay right here on this left side again and go Apply Online. These are the different categories of our permits. So today we're going to look at a residential and we're going to do a single family residence. So we're going to scroll down and find single family residence. And we're looking for the new, there is an addition and a replacement. And go ahead and hit next. As you can see on this next screen at the top, it shows you that there's five steps to this process. Right down here, we are just going to describe the purpose of our permit. Garage. We'll go ahead and hit next. This next step is your site location. So if you do have an address already assigned to the property, go ahead and type it in here. If you don't have an address assigned yet, down here you can click enter parcel number. And you can go to our Kitsap County parcel locator in order to find the parcel number if you don't have that. We're going to go ahead and use the address and select it from here and hit next. Here's where you can enter in your primary contractor. If you do want to have assigned to your project already, go ahead and add that in now. It is an optional field, so if you don't have one yet, that's okay. You can hit next. Next is our permit details screen. Our first question is, do you have your online permit forms completed and all required submittal items ready to upload? If no, it does provide the link to access that. We're going to go ahead and say yes. And then this next one is just hereby certifying that everything is true and correct on what you've filled out. So we'll say yes there. If you scroll down, this is the fixture section. And this isn't tied to any cost. This is actually just the quantity of the items that will be included in your project. So right here, we're just going to type in one because we have one floor drain within our project. Same with the water heater here. Um, so you'll want to just go down the list and type in the quantity in this quantity field for the items that will be involved in your project. We'll say one fireplace and so forth. And once you've selected all the items, go ahead and hit next. So now we're at the review phase of our application. If you go to the very top, you can review the information we just added. If you see in this top portion, it's just describing that once you hit submit at the bottom, you will have 14 days in order to upload all of your required submittal items. Here's the general information we just entered, so verify that that's correct. If it isn't, go ahead and hit edit there and it will take you right back to that section. And same with the per permit details. If everything looks okay, go ahead and hit submit my application. As you can see at the very top of the screen, your permit application has been submitted. Right here you can locate your permit number. So if you do communicate with our office, go ahead and have this number ready so we can look into your permit. This blue section is your status bar. As you can see, the status is application received. Please upload submittal documents. Permit status will be updated once documents are reviewed. The next step is to upload all of your required submittal items. So let's go ahead and scroll down to our submittal section right down here. So at the top in the red, you can see, please upload documents in PDF format on the following screen. 
each file name should indicate what each submittal document is. For example, floor plans, just call it floor plans, engineered plans, site plan, and so forth. Now let's go ahead and begin uploading our documents. In order to get to the upload screen, go ahead and click on this link right here. This is the upload screen. Go to the very bottom and hit upload. And now you're going to browse your computer for those PDF documents of your online permit form and required submittal items. So I've saved everything on my desktop. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll down. The first one I'm going to upload is my online permit form. And you can either double click here or hit open. And it'll load it right there and hit upload. Now you can see your document was uploaded and it shows up right here. And if for some reason you selected the wrong one, you have the option to delete it right there. Now we're just going to continue to upload our documents. Again, I'm going to browse the folder. Now I'm going to go ahead and pick my construction plans. And upload that. As you can see, it gives you that verification here as well as the date it was received. Again, you can delete if you need to. We're just going to keep hitting upload and browse, and loading all those required symbol items. We'll go ahead and energy code worksheet is next. Document was uploaded. Browse for site plans. Document uploaded, date it was received. Now once you have finished uploading all of your required submittal documents, you are complete with the online permitting application process. Our permit technicians will be receiving notifications that you've been busy uploading to your permit and they will let you know via email whether or not they have all of the information in order to put your permit under review or not. If they have all of the information they need, then they will send out an email letting you know it's time to pay in order to put your permit under review. We thank you for tuning in to our online video tutorial, and we do hope this helped clear up some of your questions. For any remaining questions, we are here to help. Give us a call, email us, or check out our live chat option as well. Have a nice day.